Hey everyone! I'm not sure if this is the start of the vlog, but I did want to do a moving vlog and it looks like it's about to start. So I am officially finally moving from my mom's house where I've been for the past couple of months with the, this colorful background, which you guys ask me about all the time. This isn't what it's gonna be like at the other house, but my boyfriend's coming over with the U-Haul soon and we're gonna be moving everything over today but i'm not sure just how much we're gonna get done i think we're just getting the stuff over today and i'm still probably gonna sleep here with the babies because i'm not moving them until everything's done so yeah i figured i'd give you like a little a little tour because i'm about to be out of here so forgive it it's a, a little bit of a mess <laughs> but we had the background that you guys were asking me so much about. I really did just put them into color order because it was the easiest way to organize them. So yeah. And then my little working area, I'm currently finishing up editing a video, which I want to get posted today. And then ooh, Crescent City, which I am loving. Of course, it won't focus on, there we go. So Crescent City, which I am adoring. Look at all those tabs. This is my cat's favorite toy, so. The two little beasties with the bed, the shelves, those are my mom's, but a lot of my stuff is on it. My skinny shelf, uh, stitches on a trash can. Then we have the kitty's little tower, which they really liked looking out of. A mini fridge over there, the closet, the TV, of course. But yeah, that's basically it. Everything else is in the garage. So maybe, maybe I'll show you a sneak, oh, look how dirty the mirror is. We love that. But yeah, maybe I'll show you a little sneak peek of the mess of the garage. And I don't know how much I'll show you of the other house, just because obviously it's not just my house and I really don't know how much I'm gonna get done today. I do plan on filming a reorganization of my bookshelves, but that probably will not be in this vlog, this like moving vlog. We'll see how much reading I get done too, because I really want to finish Crescent City. What, what, what is this mess? It looks green in the camera, but it's, it's T'Challa's hair. We love that. Hi. Yes, that's your hair. How'd you get it over here? <laughs> Are you sad I'm leaving? <laughs> yeah. You should stay with me. Okay. I'll tell the boys. <laughs> yeah, I tell them. Okay, good. <laughs> so let's just head to the garage and you can see what we're gonna have to move today. Disarmed. Ready to arm. Okay. That's my mom's car. I do want to mention that you're going to see a lot of shipping labels with addresses in this video, but I didn't block them out because they were actually all from my old address, but yeah. So don't try to send things to that address because I'm not there. <laughs> but that is the hot mess that we have to get over to the other house. It looks, I feel like, worse than it is. There's like knickknacks. Right here is my couch, some rugs, my bed stuff. It's basically a one car garage filled with my things. So that is the bulk of the stuff that we're gonna be moving today, just into the U-Haul and as well as my bookshelves. I still will, again, probably be sleeping at my mom's house tonight just because until like the other house is done and we don't have to be like constantly opening doors, I don't wanna bring the cats over because they love running outside and they're not allowed outside. So yeah, I'll probably be still sleeping here for another night and keep on organizing tomorrow, which should be fun. I personally adore watching organization style videos like when um, cleaning, like fast cleaning happens. So hopefully you guys enjoy that because I feel like that's gonna be like a larger part of this vlog than maybe I expect it to be. So yeah, now I just wait for my boyfriend and his best friend to come over so we can start moving things. So just to give an idea of the aftermath, <laughs> all of the shelves obviously had to um, be moved. Most of the books are right there, like a Good amount of them. There's still so many like random things. Luna looks really really bad. Yeah for the most part. Oh hi! They don't like this. For the most part though a lot of it's done. And the garage is a whole other story. So they already left with the U-Haul to head back to the house. I have to get gas in my car and then I'm gonna meet them there. So I'll bring this camera with me and we'll get some more footage. <laughs> Just getting some footage of what's going to be the book room. Okay, so 
So we moved the bookshelf, but this is what we're dealing with. We have everything. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize there's a rack thing there. Okay, but yeah, this is what we're dealing with. So it's mostly just gonna be some organizing today and figuring out where all the shelves and everything will go. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Okay, so we are slightly better. Sorry by the way for the angles. I didn't bring my tripod yet. So we have the shelves up on this wall, which actually I kind of like love there. I think I finally got this corner bookshelf to kind of work. I think that you're supposed to like anchor them to each other and that's how they actually look good with each other. I might use duct tape. I don't know. I just don't know where I put the anchors anyways. So now it's more about like figuring out where everything else goes because I still have to put my desk somewhere. It's not going to go there. Um, I have to put the shorter shelf somewhere. I don't know if I want it with the big shelves or not. And then I have to take those out, put them into our room, bring in the reading chair and have a space. I think I want to get like some kind of vanity. I think I'm going to use the uh, the tabletop that I DIY'd for my bookstagram pictures. I think I'm actually going to use that for like my makeup. I haven't decided quite yet, so I guess we'll have to see. I just like don't know how I feel about having like a marble makeup desk, you know? It just feels like extra. But I do want to have a space for that. And in general, like I'm trying to be conscious conscience okay i'm trying to be conscious of the fact that for whenever i do finally end up starting my other channel i want like a different background for it than obviously books so i'm trying to decide on like how everything is gonna go laid out right now and i also have to make it so that like my desk isn't against a wall because the way that i fil film my bullet journal videos for the month it just wouldn't work so yeah Okay, so I did decide to put that there because I was thinking about how I don't have any wall technically to put all my cool posters that I definitely want to show off. And I was originally going to like kind of display them right here and maybe have the desk right there. But I was thinking about it and now I feel like what I'm going to end up doing is still have like this little area. I want to have a TV in here because I want to be able to play video games just in a separate room than like my bedroom because first of all I button smash. I'm always up way too late when I play video games. That was two. And um, Adam needs to sleep. My boyfriend if you were new here. But yeah so I figured it would be nice to have one of our other TVs and have one of them in here to play video games and I think that now I might want to like mount it right here. It is pretty big though. So I might be putting like that tall drawer right here, but I don't know if it'll look weird. 
I can have like my sitting reading chair right here, which is like next to one of the windows, which is nice. And then also looking at this wall. But then I'm kind of still trying to figure out because this is the wall that has like the big window right here. And these windows, they're like the fun kind that first you can like do this, but they also open up which i really like like the area that it looks out into it's like the patio but i want to be able to have like the opportunity to open them while i'm reading so i just i don't know <laughs> i know i'm trying to fit a lot into this room because i want like my makeup in here i want my tv in here i want my video games in here i want my book stuff in here and i need enough room to film for this channel and then potentially another channel so i just there's just a lot to think of, but I do think that for now I am gonna try and move this there. Or actually, because I'm planning on using this shorter drawer, which I don't think you guys have seen very much of, but I have a shorter version of these drawers where I keep my makeup and I was thinking of using it as like one of the legs for the marble table. So then I still have to buy like legs for the other side because obviously I didn't have any legs for that table when I was just using it for bookstagram but it might actually look really really neat to have this like right there kind of next to it maybe like a little space in between and then have like my little vanity area which would be fun i've always wanted a vanity and i've just never really had a full vanity which is gonna be really neat and that actually i think would look really good there what do you think okay <sighs> i have to get to moving again Okay, I moved the couch right here, which is not ideal for the entrance. I think that now what I'm gonna end up doing is putting, I messed up again, I think. No, but it's okay. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put the desk kind of where it's at currently, but like more towards the wall. Mount the TV there and then have the vanity right here. But we're gonna rearrange the desk and then I'm gonna decide. don't hate the desk being there. I actually kind of like it. It fits weirdly well, but because there's always a but. I don't think that, I think that this little space is going to be way too packed with the makeup desk and with the couch and like whatever chair I use for the makeup desk. You know what I mean? We're back to square one, I guess. That's fine. I really think that this couch is gonna do its best right here. And then I can kind of do like a cute little like shelf thing right there to have as a background for when I don't want books as a background. I just, I don't know where the desk is supposed to go. So for today, this is done, but tomorrow it's gonna be all about reorganizing the shelves. I realized that like until that's done, I really just cannot clearly see. I love that I wasn't even in, focus, in the picture, but I just can't clearly see like what the rest of the room should look like. So that'll be the next step tomorrow and should be fun. And then I'll be bringing over some more stuff because there is some more stuff even though we had the whole U-Haul and um, hopefully I'll be getting most of it done though. And then by the next day, maybe I'll be able to bring the kitties and actually sleep here. So this is it for day one of the move. trying to pause the song and it is not doing what I wanted. Okay, so I just got to my house or the house I'm moving into and obviously, well, you can't actually see it that much, but there is some stuff in the back. 
And in the side, I picked up Wendy's because Adam was in the mood for Wendy's. And I did get here a lot later than I thought I would. I thought I'd be here by like noon and it's 5 p.m. currently. And I don't really plan on staying here that long. So I'm not sure how much of my bookshelf I'm gonna get reorganized today. But that is like my main goal is to start the organization process of it. This actually might be something that I split up into a few days, but I'll talk more about that in like that video because I'm making a specific video for it. Am I in focus? I like my little thingies today. Yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you an update from the car because I thought it would be fun, but we'll see how much I get done today. I'm really excited though because I was able to, Ikea is closed because obviously uh, Corona is happening currently and everyone's in quarantine, but they still have like online ordering available. So I was able to pick up, like get it so that I could pick it up in the stores. And that way I can see like, cause I'm gonna be using my bookstagram tabletop as like my vanity and I got the two legs for it. So I can actually see like if it's gonna fit in the book room or if it's gonna go in the master with us or like what's it gonna be. But I'm excited that I'll be able to check it out. And I brought my ring light today and my tripod because yesterday, not having a tripod was so difficult so yeah and then the ring light obviously for like the reorganization process well I mean I could use it for this vlog too I'm sorry I keep looking up I'm very like into how I did my makeup today so I can't stop staring at myself <laughs> okay I'm gonna go inside taking the food to the starving boy hopefully get started This is the mess that we are dealing with today. Again, my main concentration is gonna get, is going to be to get some of the books on the shelves today. I don't think I'm gonna finish the reorganization today. It's more about like clearing up the space to be able to organize some more, but we'll see just how much I end up getting done as far as that stuff goes. And then I'll probably keep you updated when I start like moving things around again. But I did wanna mention, so my ring light, she looks a little bare, correct? Well, so when I was getting out of the car, it fell over and then all the little like plastic things popped off which is fine because that happens but also it fell like into the rocks and so now i'm nervous that my ring light won't work is it supposed to look like that do, do you see that it's like okay whatever we're gonna give it a shot right now and i figured that would be kind of <laughs> funny to get on tape because either i'll be really happy that it still works or i'm gonna be sad so let's do it We love this lighting for me. <laughs> okay, so yeah, again, um, I'm just gonna start. Uh, there are a couple of stacks of books in the car that I still have to grab, and then I'll probably start on the reorganization. So I will talk to you after that video has been done. It's like videoception right now. Um, I brought the tripod. I brought the ring light. I forgot the thingy. The thingy that attaches to my camera so I can actually use the tripod. I don't think I'm going to be doing the reorganization today then what i'm going to be doing is kind of just like stacking the books in however they'll go inside of the bookshelf so i have the space to be able to organize everything else and see how everything else is going to fit which i think actually might be better i'll just like set you down wherever you'll fit i'm so frustrated i forgot that thing so it is officially moving day two. Oh wait I want to listen to something. So it's, you know, almost the 20th or it is the 20th of March 19th. And I have not finished a book yet. So what we're going to do is put on Ghost of the Shadow Market. Unscreened. Chapter 2. All right, so it is 6.20. I'm looking a little messier, obviously. And most of the books are in the shelves. I was actually really surprised. I was like, oh my gosh, there's still so much space. It's gonna be an easy reorganization. And then I saw that outside of the room, there were two more big old boxes of books. But since they're outside of the room, I'm not gonna worry about like shoving them into the shelves. This was really just about clearing up the space in here. I am thinking that the vanity might not go very well in here. I do plan plan on leaving here within like the next hour so we'll see how much I can get done well 
Well, 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 um, it is now 8.30, so I want to be heading back home because I was supposed to leave by like 7.30. But I didn't get any footage today. But I actually just didn't do that much more in the book room. Like, I left the books as they were. I left all, like, the furniture as it was. Adam moved in the stuff that was in my car, so I get to do that tomorrow. And decide if, like, the vanity will be better in here or in the master, which I feel like I've said 10 million times. But mostly, I was kind of concentrating on this everything's a mess guys so don't even look at it but mostly I was concentrating on this like secondary living room which we have which is like right next to my book room because there was this like shelf and I asked them if they were gonna do anything with it and they said no so I kind of put as aesthetically as I could which I'm not adoring it right now but it's good for right now I put all like my reject books like ones that either I've been thinking about getting rid of or that I'm holding on to for one reason or another like sentimentality but I don't want in my bookshelves and there's like a cupboard at the bottom if you can see and I actually put all the books that were in my unhaul video in there because I'm gonna try and separate them out once everything's done and finally get on to making that depop because I know that was supposed to happen three months ago so sorry guys if any of you have been waiting it is still in my head as a plan I just want to be more prepared for it I guess but yeah and then I was kind of just trying to like I don't know make a little bit more space I just feel so bad because there's so much of my stuff in boxes and just packaged up all around the house and like granted the house wasn't perfectly clean before that but it's definitely a lot worse because of my stuff I am gonna leave it at that today no one's home right now, so I feel a lot more comfortable vlogging. <laughs> but uh, again, this place is a hot mess as well. But having all this time, I mean, quarantine isn't, you know, like a light thing, but it does give me a ton of time to actually be able to do this move. And because of that though, I'm taking my sweet time. I'm not like rushing any of the steps. So originally I thought that today I'd be a lot more finished, but I'll probably be another two days before I bring over the cats. I did decide though that I'm not gonna be reorganizing the shelves until the very end. Like that's going to be the last thing I do and I want the cats here for it because they always have fun when I'm rearranging the bookshelves for whatever reason. <sighs> so yeah, I feel like I'm like out of breath guys. But I am gonna head out, go back to my mama's house for tonight and hang out with my cats, chill out, maybe try and freaking read some Crescent City because I have not been making time for it. Or maybe draw a little, I'm not sure. I wanna do a lot of things, I guess. And then maybe I'll get my act together and wake up early tomorrow to come and do these things. It's dark, dark. Okay, I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so day three of the moving and we are prepared today. I wore leggings, so yeah, fuzzy socks because duh, and I put my hair up because we're getting it done today. I came here super, super late because I ended up doing a lot of stuff at my mom's house and just couldn't get here before then. Today, what I wanna do is mostly just kind of set up the vanity, see where that's gonna fit, but the main project is gonna be the bed, so. Most of what goes on will not be in this room today, which is fine. I'm gonna take a split second, drink some water, and maybe put in my AirPods and listen to more of Ghosts of the Shadow Market. And I actually brought the thingy so that I can actually use my tripod. That was me trying to decide if the vanity would even fit very well in that corner with the other desk and I've decided it would not. <laughs> the thing is, is those windows that are over here that you can't really see, those ones, they open up and I'd rather have at least one of them be able to open up and if I put it at the distance it would need to be for that, it's just not practical. Instead of building it in here, I think I'm gonna move all my <laughs> supplies over to the other room. Actually, maybe I'll, I'll decide where to put this first. <sighs> I should probably turn off the music and actually listen to an audiobook. That's what we'll do. I'm gonna listen to Ghost. I am currently on chapter four. It's going by really slowly for whatever reason.
Okay, well, am I in focus? I cannot tell. So I have done as much as I set out to do today. I'm actually really impressed that I got the bed built. There are definitely screws missing because I know my dad told me he taped screws that I needed to use for making the bed and I lost it, but I couldn't figure out which screws were missing because everything that I needed seemed to fit. So hopefully it doesn't fall apart in my sleep, you know? And then I set up the vanity over on that side. I don't love right now how it looks. Like I'm still debating on like drawers. I think I do want to change the marbling on it. I didn't like how I did it in the first place. So I might just buy that like dark blue, black marbling that I'd found or Maybe a different one because that is definitely the best place for it to go but we'll see i have technically not unpacked a single box except for like my book boxes that will probably be tomorrow's task it is, is actually like making it homey instead of just utilitarian i guess and i love decorating like i love 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 rearranging furniture and making things just look really cute so hopefully tomorrow's actually fun but we'll see <laughs> For now though, I think I'm gonna chill out. Maybe sit down, hang out with the boys, and... Oh, I forgot I had food. <gasps> I have pad thai. I'm gonna eat pad thai. Okay, I will see you for day four of moving. Was today day four? Day four. Ah, it is still daylight outside, as you can kind of see, but barely. It is 6 p.m. and we are entering into day four of moving. I do think that today is going to be the last day of my, like, part one of my moving vlog, just because I feel like there's a ton of footage already, and there are a couple of unboxings that I want to do a little later. I still have to get him out of the car. Expect a part two because obviously things are not done. I'm just probably going to take a break tomorrow, edit maybe this video, maybe get it up, do something along those lines. But today is mostly going to be about unpacking because like I said yesterday, I have not unpacked a single thing. I haven't opened any boxes that weren't book boxes. So I kind of want to like open things up, put things away. I did bring all of like my hung up clothes in the car, my shoe rack, things like that. So I'll be kind of just organizing for the most part. And then I do just want to get a head start on cleaning. I got here and no one was home. So that's kind of fun. But I just kind of want to get the house clean because I don't want to bring the cats over until things just are more up to my cleaning standards. I I guess just because I can be a little crazy about my cats if I'm gonna be quite honest I just don't like them being in dirty areas I don't like people that aren't me touching them please tell me I'm not the only one that's that like I get crazy about my cats I get crazy about my dogs too when I had dogs so it's it's like an overall animal thing actually it's an overall like my things kind of thing I'm pretty pretty crazy about all my things so <laughs> not my best quality but we're working on it right now I'm just probably gonna get started and start opening up some boxes I don't know if I want to start filming right away I'm probably going to wait to get everything out of my car until my boyfriend and the boys get back because I'm going to enlist them in helping me my entire backseat so I, I drive like an SUV my entire back seat from the feet space to basically the top of the ceiling is packed with just clothes on hangers I have a problem I swear I go through my clothes like once a season and I swear I get rid of things but apparently not enough and I wear like the same things all the time because here I am again in my Kiki shirt which I love wearing some leggings and socks always the same but yeah I'm gonna try and keep this intro short just because obviously there's a ton of footage with the vlog and also there's probably gonna be a lot of footage with the double unboxing I do want to unbox my owl crate and fairy loot boxes that I haven't been able to unbox for you guys quite yet and I feel like this is a great opportunity too and I think it'll be fun kind of like break in the new room before it's actually done I hope this will be kind of fun that's where we're at <laughs> this took the weirdest thumbnail picture I hope I use it for this video <laughs> Okay, 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 bye. Also, um, I'm going to be listening to... Ooh, I was watching Criminal Minds. I might finish that actually because the episode has two minutes left. But after that, I'm going to listen to Ghosts of the Shadow Market. I did bring my laptop today so I could watch some videos. There's some Skillshare videos that I wanted to watch. Not sponsored. I, I just actually was planning on watching them so I feel like today should be pretty fun. Uh, it's finally starting to like come together. The next time I come over to the house, 
I want to be able to bring the cats and just kind of like the last of the necessary stuff that I want right away. I have like come to terms with the fact whenever I do moving or like reorganization things, anything like that, I have this weird idea that everything has to be perfect right away. And it's always very like displeasing to me when it's not, which is I think why moving is so, so stressful for me because moving is never gonna be perfect and I, have got to lower my standards as far as that stuff goes. And I like had a moment the other day where I was just sitting there being like, okay, wait, I don't need everything to look perfect right away. I can make a whole other video of just like making my book room or remodeling my room or things like that where it's just more fun and niche and where I'm making it where I'm proud of it. Right now, I might not necessarily be entirely proud of my space, but it's workable. And I am really happy that I've come to terms with that because that's always something that's been so, so hard for me to accept. And it's, it's just, that's just life. Nothing's gonna be perfect right away. And I really, really, really am so happy that I like opened my eyes to that because your girl can be a little bit of a perfectionist, which is very frustrating for everyone around me and me as well. Okay, it's very frustrating for me as well to be a perfectionist. It's very hard on your mind, but it's also hard on everyone around me. So like, everyone that's been helping me move and everything, they've probably had to deal with all this like negative energy that I was seeping. That's such a weird word. But, okay, uh, that little rant's over, but I'm going to start unpacking. Okay, so we just got everything out of the car, so I have like stacks. Don't worry, I've unboxed most of those. I just never took them out of the box because I thought it was easier for moving's sake. Uh, so we got everything out of the car, but everything's still disorganized. But I think I'm gonna start with, with my clothes and they're all gonna go here. So, uh, Adam's been using my side. Gotta yell at him. Okay, hot mess that is the bathroom. Wow, this is actually a really nice mirror. And I'm hyped about the bathtub. Cannot wait to take a bubble bath when this is all done. <laughs> Gosh, I feel like you guys are seeing just the absolute worst that this space can possibly get. And I'm so sorry. And I hope you're not judging me. But it is a move. Things get dirty. So this is the closet before. We don't care about Adam's side. <laughs> it is 718. So let's see how long this takes. Okay, so it's um, 849 now and after. So it's definitely looking cluttered, but it's clean. We have all my clothes, suitcase. So I'm really happy about that. I stole <laughs> one of Adam's racks to put more sweaters and yeah, overall I'm pretty happy with it. I just, yeah. I also cleaned up the bathroom a touch just because I didn't like it. Oh, that's the TV that <laughs> Adam wants to mount there. We are going to have a bathroom TV, I suppose, <laughs> which is hilarious and then yeah. His side, my side, the vacuum. <laughs> all right, and now to unpack more things. I brought in all of these boxes that have like knickknacks and things like that. So I'll be opening those up, hopefully getting them shelved. One of these boxes have the little shelves for these. If you can hear music, it's because the boys are playing D&D &D and they like music. So yeah, hopefully when we see this next, it'll look a little bit better. Okay, so I found the shelves, but I don't know where the little tacks are to put the shelves in their place. So I have to go on a hunt for that now. <laughs> I have so many knickknacks. I found them. Wow, we're looking so cute. Yeah, this is the end of the vlog number one. I was supposed to film this like two days ago <laughs> before I took like my little mini break where I just stayed at home, but I 
didn't. So we're doing it now. I am just going to be doing a fairy loot unboxing. I know originally I said I was going to do two unboxings, but I think it'll be better if I split it into the two vlogs, you know, like end this one with fairy loot, start the other one with owl crate. Maybe not start because this, <laughs> I'm looking rough. I, I don't have any makeup on. We're very lazy today. So here, I'm going to actually take this off. <laughs> Let's just kind of get into it. We are going to be unboxing the fairy loot box for February. This is going to be just a quick little unboxing. I did, again, already accidentally open it because I thought it was one of the boxes that held just random things because I was using these boxes to put like knickknacks into for the move. Also, we're loving this like very ratchet background, but it's authentic, it's real, this is how my life is right now. And we're gonna deal with it because I really, really, really wanna open this up and well, let's go. So I am a fairy loot rep, if you guys didn't already know. If you want to, you can use my code and you get, I believe it's 5% off your first monthly subscription or something like that. Um, I'll leave the details down below as I always do. So if you wanna look at anything, just go down there. Let us get into this box because I feel like it's gonna be fun. So this is the little spoiler card. This is fancy, look at this. It's very cute. It's like giving me very strong throne of glass vibes and the february theme is rule breakers so let's go the first thing which this is the only thing that i really could see when i opened up the box was this and we knew that we were getting a mug in this box and this one's gonna be serpent and dove themed i did read serpent and dove didn't like adore it and the more that i look back on it the more i'm like four stars was maybe a little too generous for how i feel about it it was a good average read for me so it was probably leaning more towards a three star but to be fair i think the audiobook had that like effect on my reading experience with it because i didn't love it as much as i probably would have if i had physically read it so let's look at the mug though Oh, this is really freaking pretty. Wow, I really like that they made it a little wider. Their last ceramic mug was a little bit more like skinny. And this one's a little bit fatter, more of like the a la Karakozik mugs for Owl Crate. And it's really, really pretty. So we have the two main characters, which I'm going to be honest with you, I don't remember his name. We have a dove and then we have our girl. Oh, I don't remember her name either. Oof. That's rough. I I probably should reread this book if I ever get in the mood to because it's just so freaking pretty. Let's see who did the drawing for it. It's Lou and Reed. Okay, I remember now. And it was painted by Merwild and Co. And if you look inside, you'll notice a little serpent and dove. And that was actually designed by Tara. So this is really, really pretty. I adore this. I love getting bookish mugs. Mugs are like my number two obsession i want to say number two because enamel pins are now easier to collect like you can have a million of them and they take up so little space while mugs i have a million and i am out of space <laughs> so yeah let's get into the tarot cards so oh my gosh wait <gasps> these are strange the dreamer themed oh my god gosh this is this is everything okay i will let you know this is sarai and she is the Ten of Cups. She is so stunning. You can see all her like spooky moths. I love this. And then we have someone else right here. I'm not gonna say who it is. It is mildly a spoiler if you have not read all of Strange of the Dreamer or Muse of Nightmares. So I'm not gonna say who it is. And don't say in the comments who it is either because that's a spoiler. And if you are gonna say, make a spoiler alert. So this is the Nine of Cups. I like that they're actually sticking with like an actual tarot card theme now. I need to go back and see if all of them have really been tarot card inspired or not. Because I felt like one of them was just kind of like a made up card, but I could definitely be wrong. I'm really, really enjoying the art on them though. It looks like they've switched up the artist again. So yeah, oh wait, no. I think she was actually making the lost ones too. But Gabriella Bujoso is doing the Strange the Dreamer series by Lainey Taylor. And I'm obsessed. Like these are very whimsical, very magical, like... I wonder if we're gonna end up having like a whole set of tarot cards by the time this is done. Because if we are, that would be really freaking cool like really really cool oh my gosh this is so cool and it says one does not simply walk into mordor <laughs> iconic the art on it is really really cool it's just very high quality i'm into this let's see who designed it it was designed by bookmark tattoos and the love you more studios okay let's grab 
I did not expect that. Wait, this is, this is cute. <laughs> I like this. I'm pretty sure it's like a scarf or like one of those very sheer shawls. So like just to give you an idea, this is the sheerness level of it. And it has, it's a beautiful gold foiling and a cat on top of books, which we're here for. Well, okay, I should unravel it. Ooh, oh, okay. Nice. So it's just like, <laughs> this is really cool. I'm feeling stylish. <laughs> Wait, let's let's see what this is by. So back in June 2019, we featured Sorcery of Thorns. I knew it was Sorcery of Thorns inspired. Okay. By Margaret Rogerson. And they, of course, had to include an item that celebrates the wonderfully brave and rebellious characters in it. There is Silas as a cat, his best form, truly. A stack of books to represent the grimoires and thorns for Nathaniel. The foiled scarf features a stunning and shiny exclusive design by Tara. I really like this. This is kind of giving me, like, festival vibes. Festival fashion has a lot of, like, this kind of, like, shawl, gold foiling situation going on. Like, I might try and plan something around this for Coachella since Coachella got pushed back to October now, so I have the time to try and decide on that. I like this. Okay. Ooh, we got a chapstick. Wait, what's it inspired by? I see, like, a red moon, so that makes me think it's probably Nevernight themed, but it says Malachia. Ooh, and the flavor is strawberry prosecco. I like that smell. The lip balm was made exclusively for Fairy Loot by the amazing Little Heart Gifts, and it was inspired by the mischievous Malachia. I'm saying that so wrong. I'm butchering the name. Don't come at me. From Wicked Saints. Okay. I kind of also thought it might have been Wicked Saints inspired just because it looks a lot like the cover for it. I don't own Wicked Saints. And originally I really did want to read it, but then I heard kind of mixed reviews on it, so I never went ahead and found it to pick it up, so... Ooh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we've got two bookmarks. <laughs> and these are never nice. They're two of like the best quotes. Okay, you might not know about this about me, but I actually really wanted to get this tattooed for a minute. The never flinch, never fear, and never ever forget. But then I was like, oh, that's so dark and grim, but it, it might still happen one day. I mean, first we're going to start with Rattle the Stars, and then we'll move on from there. So, <laughs> and then this one... Such a good quote. The books we love, they love us back, and just as we mark our places in the pages, those pages leave their marks on us. And they're just so freaking pretty. Look at that. Look at the foiling on them. These are really, really stunning. I'm obsessed. Let's see who designed them. Ooh, wait, there's a sticker. <gasps> Too few centuries, too many books. We, oh well, too many books, too few centuries. We love this quote because how accurate. So these were all designed by Nava and Tail and I'm absolutely obsessed. Like they're so, 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 so beautiful and I really love the sticker. You can feel how high quality it is. I probably will not use it on my Hydro Flask like I use most of my stickers because I love it a lot. So either I'll hang it up or now that I have like a life journal, I've been thinking about adding my stickers into there, but we'll decide when the time comes. And we got an art print. Ooh, wait, I think this is like the one inspired by the book in the box because this is the bookmark and that normally goes in the little fairy loot bag. So we got this art print and this bookmark. Okay, yeah, I don't think I know who these people are, but I really like the bookmark as well. So let us get into the book because I wanna say that those were all the items that are supposed to be in the box. Oh, okay, so this is We Hunt the Flame inspired. I still have yet to read that book, but I do really want to. And it was actually designed by, I believe, Nava and Tail as well. Yes. And let's get into the book. I honestly have no clue what could be in here. I think that I originally had an idea, but I have since forgotten. So let's grab out all the goodies inside first. Ooh, ooh, we got like a fancy little, oh, it's like a postcard. That's pretty cool. After all, love is an excellent motivation to kill. Oh, motivator. After all, love is an excellent motivator to kill. I mean, but are you wrong? Criminal Minds has taught me that that's true. And then we have the fairy scoop, which we'll go over in a minute. And let's grab, oh, there's actually a couple, there's one more thing. Oh, ooh, I love this art style for this print. This is cool. Let's grab it out. So it's The Shadows Between Us. This is a strange book because the cover is pretty glossy, but the matte parts are like soft touch. Intriguing. And it's by Trisha Levenseller. Isn't she the one that wrote the Pirate King series? 
because I want to say that it is. If I can find Daughter of the Pirate King, then we'll know, but I can't freaking find it. Oh yeah, okay, I was right. So Trisha Levenseller is the author of Daughter of the Pirate King, and I loved that first book, but I really, really, really didn't like Daughter of the Siren Queen. Like, I liked aspects of it, but the overall like plot was not for me. But let's read. They've never found the body of the first and only boy who broke my heart, and they never will. I think this book is gonna be something that's right up my alley. <laughs> okay, so it says, Alessandra is tired of being overlooked, but she has a plan to gain power. Woo, the Shadow King. Shadow King, that just makes me think of the Darkling. And if we're talking about a love story with a villain, I have been begging for this for so long. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Number two, marry him. Number three, kill him and take his kingdom for herself. God, Alessandra, you is one badass bitch. So it says, no one knows the extent of the freshly crowned Shadow King's power. Some say he can command the shadows that swirl around him to do his bidding. Others say they speak to him, whispering the thoughts of his enemies. Regardless, Alessandra knows what she deserves and she's going to do everything within her power to get it. But Alessandra is not the only one trying to kill the king. As attempts on his life are made, she finds herself trying to keep him alive long enough for him to make her his queen, all while struggling not to lose her heart. After all, who better for a Shadow King than a cunning villainous queen? Wait, this sounds like like something I've been begging for. I literally, I know that it's probably like not right, but I was rooting for Alina and the Darkling in Shadow and Bone. And I know he was a bad person and stuff like that, but I just, I just thought it would have been a fun ending. Like, and ever since I read that book, I've been thinking to myself, like, I want to write a story where maybe our main character does get wooed by the villain. Oh, we have some inner jacket. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. The naked book is pretty. Look at that. And like the dust jacket art. This is some fancy artwork for this book because I'm in love with the dust jacket art and this. So let's go into the fairy scoop. We do have the interview with the author as per usual, Trisha Levenseller. And then we have, oh, okay. So we did get an exclusive cover. It was originally supposed to be red and black and we got a dark purple and black, which I think I prefer because I like purple. And then we got artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket, which isn't in the regular copy embossing. Ooh, and it's signed by the author. I totally forgot to check that. Oh, she's slippery. <gasps> that is a fancy signing page. Okay. So, and then we have the read along, which was starting March 16th. So I missed it, but that's okay. And then we have next month's theme, which is going to be break the curse. It's time for you to break the curse and defy your fate. <sighs> Love it. You can expect items inspired by the Queen of Nothing, A Curse of Dark and Lonely, The Raven Boys, Caraval, and Heartless. Ooh. Nobber and Tail is going to be working on one of the big items in this box, which is awesome. I feel like Nobber and Tail works on a lot of their big items, which is really, really cool. And then their featured book of the month is a high stakes fantasy flush with doomed romance and macabre. Ma how do you say that word? Macabre? Macabre? Ma magic? <laughs> this beautiful book filled with siren-like women ferrying the dead and a swoon-worthy romance had us on the edge of our seats. This very late exclusive edition will have a shimmery sprayed edges, artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket by Diana D. Warak, and will be signed by the author. Ooh, okay, I'm very, very, very into that, so. This box was actually really awesome. I mean, I figured it would be because rule breakers tend to be like my favorite trope in books, but the book itself is actually something that I'm really, really intrigued by. I'm definitely willing to give Trisha Levenseller another shot because I did love the first book so much in her Daughter of the Pirate King duology. As far as like favorite thing in the box goes, it's probably going to be the Nevernight bookmarks. I mean, the thing is, is everything is really, really cool, but these, they just sing to my soul, you know? This is gonna be the end of my part one vlog, so hopefully I'll be getting this up. But yeah, I hopefully can get this vlog up and get it edited and you guys can start seeing my move-in process. And then right now I'm actually gonna start my part two of the vlog and just start like kind of unboxing more things. So thanks for sticking around with me for this moving stuff. I hope that you're having a good time. Please let me know if there's anything that you would prefer to see. I know you guys missed my vlogs and hopefully this is kind of filling that void that <laughs> you had but I do kind of have a lot of plans for vlogs in general once I'm all moved in just because I'll have the space for it again and right now specifically with everything that's going on obviously I will be home quite a bit and able to vlog for you guys. I hope that you're having fun. I hope you're being safe everyone. Just you know take this time relax and 
enjoy it, I guess, as much as you can. But I will see you all in my next vlog. I don't know if that'll be the next video that goes up, if like I'll have the vlog part one and two back to back, but we'll see, I guess. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye. Whip your